Okay, this is a little demo of the uh, PIC bootloader I've been working on. Uh, currently it's just sitting in reset. We've got nothing nothing running on the PIC uh, other than the bootloader. So I just let it start up. You can see bootloader starts. It's sitting there waiting for serial data on its UART. Um, and it's, yeah, it'll just, uh, because there's nothing else loaded on it, uh, once the bootloader's finished waiting, Times out waiting for serial data, it just goes back to the beginning and uh, the bootloader starts up again. So, if we load some data via the bootloader onto uh, the EEPROM, then uh, this is going via the PIC, the PIC's writing onto the EEPROM, and then the EEPROM, uh, once it's been fully written to, will then uh, write that data into the flash memory on the PIC. Doesn't require any modification of the programs that are going on to it. it. Can just take it just takes a standard hex file, and uh, um, well, puts it onto the pick in such a way that the bootloader still works, and also uh, the new program works as well. So if we go over here to the computer, there's a program I've written in Java, which does the transfer. So if we start that. Then what should happen is it starts communicating with the PIC. See there, I've got a little USB to serial converter. It's just transferring lots of data. And go back to the display on the PIC. And it should be ready in just a second. Yep, there we go. It's just finished transferring. Now it's doing the write to the flash. And it restarts. And there you go. It's the new program running. Not a very exciting program, but it's quite pretty. Um, and if we restart the pick, bootloader comes up, waits for a couple of seconds, and then you see the program that we've loaded on starts up. So yeah, there you go, that's it.